Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will learn about burn down chart report in Jira. So to get started, I'll select the project and under reports, you'll see burn down chart. Click on the burn down chart report. And here you'll see at the Y axis, you will see the story points or whatever criteria you have selected in the drop down here. So you have story points, original time estimate, issue count, and remaining time estimate. So whatever you select in this drop down is in the Y axis, and the time is on the X axis, right? And then below that, you will see the as per date, what ha what was planned, what issue was planned, what uh, event type it was. So a sprint started on that particular day and what was included. So these are the story points that were uh, included and total of those story points. And then after that, depending on the dates where uh, the particular issue was addressed, for example, on 27th of March, MOP 18 was completed and it was three story points so that got decreased and the total remaining for that particular sprint is 15 right so it gives this chart below gives a detailed detailed uh, description or details about how the sprint is going and when the issue is getting completed and overall visibility of that particular sprint then you can change it to issue count and it will show you on which particular date that particular issue got resolved so if you see this gray line here this is the ideal um, sprint or this is the ideal burn down chart how it should go but uh, in an actual scenario it will always be like uh, whenever the issue is in progress will still in progress and then once it's time once it uh, once time is logged in or the issue count is dropped in then it will come down so for example initially it, there were seven issues then one got closed it can came down to six and then on 30th march uh, another one got closed and came down to five so that's that's how it will come down and eventually it should come to to zero at the end of the sprint uh, for the ideal uh, sprint and then original time estimate because we haven't estimated or we haven't put any time then the, it doesn't show any original time estimate uh, but if you have provided any time uh, estimate for the issues then it will give you the original estimate uh, time estimate as well and then remaining time estimate will give you the remaining time the time spent on that particular issue if people are logging in your team um, the time and how much time is remaining to complete that particular uh, sprint so that is pretty much all about burn down chart and it's burn down chart is very helpful in agile reports because it gives you a complete visibility of a particular sprint and how that particular sprint is progressing on day by day basis so if you follow um, time tracking or, or the team follows time tracking pretty well um, and updating the issues correctly on each day then your burn down chart will give you a very nice visibility of the, that particular sprint thank you